Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallen, a post-nuclear role-playing game. In the last episode, we talked to Harold and... I think Slippy or Slappy or... Oh, I'm forgetting the name of him. No, that's the guy that sells us the information, I believe. The one guy, uh, the, the crazy guy, who seemed to be very much like uh, the guy that I'm forgetting his name in Fallout New Vegas in Novak, uh, the crazy dude. Um, he has taken us to a Deathclaw cave, and we are going to attempt to kill the Deathclaw now. I hope that we're going to be good. I, I I don't know. We didn't use stim packs uh, the last time. We're not going to change the difficulty. I, I really do not want to change the difficulty. I'm, I'm going to try my best to not. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to say that now. It's not going to happen. So we need to kill this death claw down here. I believe we can, but it's going to be difficult. Um, let's see. So how do we enter combat mode? We click this, and there we go. Now we can enter combat mode. I want to really like loot this guy, too. It looks like a super mutant. Okay, so we're, we are not even close to have a chance to hit him right now. Um, what about now? No. It's a long, it's a long range rifle. Come on now. Okay, that ended our turn. Uh, let's do this again. We have a 27% chance to hit. That's not good enough. Moving forward a little bit, we have a 43% chance. Still not good enough. Really don't want the death claw. Well, I was gonna say to get aggroed, but <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, now, we should have a good percent chance. Yeah, 95. Let's go ahead and shoot him once. That dealt eight points. We need one more piece of AP to do this. So, let's move away. Let Ian shoot at him a little bit here. If Ian could grab the aggro, that would be wonderful. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And for some reason, we always lose one AP. I'm not sure why. This little AP thing right here, it's always gone. We could be able to hit him twice, but we can't. I don't really get it. Oh, crap. Did I switch out my... Ah, oh, the submachine gun. I was supposed to switch it out for the shotgun. Oh, well. We'll see if we can't do this this time. So, the long-range rifle... Ooh! Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so... He was critically hit for 12 points. A serious wound is inflicted. Not sure if a serious wound is inflicted means anything significant. Um, and then he was hit for 5 points and 2 points from Ian. So we're doing good now, but we're about to get hit, obviously. We're going to shoot him once, I think. And then we are going to move our coward ass away, even though it's not going to matter. Um, so there, we hit him for six points. Oh, gosh. Okay. Deathclaw was critically hit for 30 hit points. The blow knocks him to the ground. Wow, so, okay, so we're dealing a lot. If we don't kill him this time, then I don't think, I just think that we can't kill him. Um, and then we were critically hit for 27 points, bypassing your armor, the blow knocks you to your feet. So we need to use a stim pack uh, right now. Um, and I'm forgetting how to do that at the moment. Uh, we have a stim pack. Hold on. Did I use it already? My AP is gone for some reason. I think it's because I activated my inventory. Crap. You don't have enough action points to use inventory. What? I thought it was simply just pick up the stim pack and drag it. Okay. Well, I think we might be dead then. Which really sucks because we... Unless Ian can just kill him right now. But Ian doesn't do a lot of damage. And the Deathclaw attacks twice. And thus we are dead again. Your bones are... I know the bones. I get it. Okay. How do we use the stim pack? That was the critical error that I had. I mean, it should be just I grab it and drag it onto our character. I thought that's how we did it. Either way, uh, we're going to try this once more. If it doesn't work, I'll try a couple more times. Uh, we're going to switch out the submachine gun for the shotgun because the Deathclaw obviously makes it close uh, very fast. So let's go ahead and move over here. There's nothing over here to be gained, right? No. Okay, Deathclaw, it's time to meet your end. I don't know why when I end my turn, I have full AP, but then when I want to attack you, I don't. It doesn't make sense, and I don't like it. 71% chance to hit. Please hit. Ugh, we missed. Okay. That's okay, because we have a little bit of time to move away. I don't know why the Deathclaw goes for me first. It's kind of weird. Um... Okay, he was hit for four hit points. We're not doing nearly as well as we were before. We're going to move over here. Ian's going to take a couple of pot shots. And he's not even going to take any damage. Wow, all right. Um, the rifle seems to be doing the critical damage. So I, just, I don't see how we're going to be able to... Oh, there we go. We got another crit. But it only dealt 14. So we need to do like... 
30 plus 12. Ian, can you do some damage, man? Okay, uh, B switches weapons, right? Yes, it does. So now we're going to attack him with the shotgun and see how much damage it does. 12. And that was a non-crit, so that's pretty good. Uh, he is going to get in range of us next turn, though, I believe. Ian, you really need to do some damage, buddy. You are doing no damage at all. Okay, up close with the shotgun now does five. That's pretty crappy. Uh, I don't know if we should move. I guess we should move towards Ian. So the Deathclaw is definitely going to be able to hit us now. He didn't do a lot of damage there, though. Ooh, not a lot at all. I really wish we had this AP point. I don't know why we don't. That would allow us to attack twice in a turn. Um, what's happening here? Out of ammo. Son of a bitch. Okay, then I think we'll switch over. Don't think we want to waste the AP to reload. And then we'll go ahead and fire at him. He's right there. Are you fucking kidding me? We missed. With a 95% chance, we missed. We missed with a 5% chance when the Death Claw is right in front of my face. That's ridiculous. That's insane. That's insanely bad luck right there. And we're dead. Negative 7 HP. Oh, boy. All right, guys. I'm going to try this a couple of times and see if I can't do this. Um, I don't know if we're even able to do this at this point. It feels like if we just get the right crits, it can happen. But either way, I'll see you guys in a second. I, You have my word. I'm not going to change the difficulty. I will try this on normal. Uh, either we beat it or we don't. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys. This is the one. This is the one right here. Because Ian just critically hit for 17 points. Uh, which is way better than we can hope for. So... Uh, also, I realized to use a stim pack, we need to like just hold it until we use the hand icon. Same thing with reloading. And I forgot to put the shotgun there, but that's okay. Um, so this is the run. This is the run right here. We hit the death claw for 10 or 18 points. I can't really see there. Ian does an extra like six. We're gonna go ahead and should we just run away completely? I don't know. He's he's just gonna keep chasing us, right? Let's go ahead and shoot him once. Six points. That's pretty crappy. We're going to move away as much as possible. The uh, Deathclaw should be able to hit us at least one time now. He, yeah. He did a decent amount. So I have to judge whether or not... <sighs> okay. So let's try to use... Oh, wow. Opening up our inventory uses like four points. Okay. So now if we hold this... Wait, what? I... I know I see a stim pack. I want to use it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. We have to hold it over our character, then do that. Okay, that works. Cool. So, it looks like it doesn't do anything in our inf inventory. Which Oh, and also to reload, I think we hold the bullets and do the same thing. Um, so, this means... Can we go ahead and switch this out as well? No, 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 no. Uh, can we go ahead and switch this out for the same? Yeah, it looks like that doesn't cost any AP either. All right, uh, well, I think we should just move closer towards Ian. Maybe we can just face tank this. Maybe Ian can close it out. Not if he does no damage. Okay, it just critically damaged me. Uh, we're going to have to, like, heal every turn now, which is not good. Um, so let's use another stim pack. And now we're going to need to run away. But it's, like, right behind us the whole time. Man, these death claws are, are tough. <sighs> and he keeps critically hitting me. Yeah. All right, we're down to 11 HP. <sighs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try one more stim pack. So we have to right click and then hold the left click and then use the hand icon. That's what we're doing here. Um, wow, that didn't even heal me all that much. Okay, let's use one more then since that was kind of lame. All right, now we're back to full health. Uh, oh, and we can get a shot off. Okay, let's do that. Nine points. Two points. Two points. He keeps knocking me down. I wonder if he just does that every every time if he's right up close to you. I will spend all of our stim packs to kill this thing. I will do it. But I don't know if it's smart to. <laughs> um, Alright, we spent enough time here. I think I'll just go on the offensive here. Try to kill him with this turn. And if not, we just lose. Wow, that did 24. Yeah. Yeah. It was, he was critically hit for 24 points. Even this beast seems phased by that stunning attack. So we've dealt so much damage to this. If we just die here, that means we just can't do it. We we literally just can't do it. Um, opening in my inventory, I don't... Let's see. 
Okay, looks like... Alright, alright. So, I just had enough AP to use this. So, to do this. So, let's go ahead and heal back to full. I It hurts my heart to heal... To use all of these stim packs, but... Whatever. We're still missing, like... Eight uh, points of health. Or seven points of health, too. Alright. Well, that's our turn. Ian missed... We were critically hit. What else is new? No! He attacked us three times, but he missed the last time. Okay, same thing. Wow, this Deathclaw has so much HP. I guess this is just like a, a late game quest or something. Uh, we'll just waste all of them to see if we can't beat this Deathclaw. I would love to. Uh, we're going to hold off on that. So our turn is over. Ian does three. Ian does 11! If we don't die here, we may be able to do it. Nope, we're dead. Wow. Yeah, okay, so we just can't do it. That death claw is way too strong. We dealt so much damage there. So, so, so much damage. And still, like, like we got lucky in that run and still we died. So let's head back. That just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so um, we have a couple of options now. We have the caravan thing, but we need to return January 17th, which is in like 10 days. Um... Let's see, the water chip. They said go to Junk Town or the Vault. So we have, or or the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood, uh, yeah, okay. So anyways, we have Vault 13, Vault 15. We've been to both. I don't think we need to go back. Shady Sands, we've been to that as well. I don't think we need to go back. We haven't been to the Heights in Old Town, but I'm not sure. Or the hei uh, the Heights in um, the Hub. I'm not sure if we need to go there either. Uh, we have not been to Junk Town. We have not been to Raiders. I don't even know what that means. Uh, we haven't been to Necropolis, where there is another water lead. Um, the Hub, Brotherhood, and Boneyard. So I think we're going to go to Necropolis. No, not Necropolis. We're going to go to Junktown. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I know this is the other very big town, so we might as well go there and see what we can't find. Maybe another lead on the water purif purifier. Again, that is our main goal, to get the water purifier. All right, it's now January 10th. I believe it was January 17th, right, for the caravans. I hope I'm not getting that wrong. Either way, Junktown. In we go. You better put that away. Junktown is a friendly place, friend, and we want to keep it that way. Sounds fair. By the way, what is the local law regarding weapons? Good you ask. No weapons can be drawn except in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your fault. Other than that, it's your right to go around armed. Just don't pull a knife or a gun without just cause. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, I need to remember that. Uh, this game is very realistic in that... We need to not have our stuff equipped. I'm wondering even if we had this game on easy difficulty, if we could have killed that Deathclaw. We got so many criticals, Ian did so many criticals, and still he just didn't die. And he does so much. If he's right next to you, he attacks three times. If we just had that one AP, again, I don't know why this little AP thing here isn't there. I guess maybe this is just the total gauge and we can have the potential to get one more AP. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. But yeah, I don't think we're able to do that just yet. Um, all right, here's Junktown, and who do we have here? A Junktown guard. Oh, his name is Kalnwar, though. What can I do for you? Where can I get some supplies? Oh, heck, the place for that is Dark Waters. Killian runs it. It's a little to the north. Killian has the best supplies in town. Thanks. Bye. Well, we're not done asking you stuff. I like my boss. Oh, well, okay. I didn't really ask you, but that's cool, man. It's good to like your boss, you know? It makes your job less uh, difficult, you know what I mean? We have here a heavily muscled, scarred man with a mustache. Can I help you, stranger? So what's there to do around here? Plenty so long as you stay on our good side. We got Killian Darkwater Store where you can do some trading. And there's Gizmo's Casino if you're a gambler. Or if you just want a drink, you can head on over to the Scum Pit. Just don't get too rowdy. Okay, bye. Well, I want to talk to you more, muscly man. Um... Can you give me the big picture on Junktown? Me and my men here work for Killian Darkwater. We keep some order in this town, dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fat head runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the Skulls with a Z, are going to take the fall sometime soon if Killian has anything to say about it. So what's keeping you law boys from just busting Gizmo and the Skulls? Gotta do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation. A rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. 
They rough someone up, we bring one or two of them in, but nothing changes. We just don't have any direct evidence tying them to any of the killings or muggings. Yeah, this sounds like something I would totally be down for, uh, especially like a, a justice quest to do. Maybe I can help you with that. Well, if you think you can get some dirt on either of them, we'd appreciate the help. Killian's the one to talk to if you want to talk about Gizmo, but if you can get some info on the skulls, just come back to me, and the boys will take care of them. Okay, so it looks like if we get some info on the minions, they can take out the minions, and then we can talk to Killian to get some info on Gizmo. Maybe there's a good way to uh, do that. Maybe there's a good order. Like, we take down the minions first, and then Gizmo's easier to take down? I am not sure. This is a blind playthrough. Let's find Killian. That sounds correct. Junktown peasant. <laughs> Look at this peasant. Uh, who do we have here? Junktown guard. Junktown guard. Junktown guard. Junktown guard. Really? Y'all are Junktown guards, eh? We see junk. Well, this is Junktown, after all. Why am I not surprised to see some junk? Okay, well, I would have thought Killian would be in here, but it looks like he's not. But let's just uh, observe some of the walls here to make sure that that's not the case. Looks like it is not the case. So let's head back outside. What do we have here? Junktown Guard? No, your name's not Wooden Wall. Your name's Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Andrew. My job is to guard the jail. What are you doing? I'm guarding the jail, and I make sure the miscreants don't get in or out. Why would you keep people from getting in the jail? Some might, Someone might leave something to help a prisoner escape, or someone might get locked inside and stuck until we could get the keys. Oh, you have a good day and stay out of trouble. Is this all Junktown is? It looked extremely big. No, I'm sure there are different uh, sections to Junktown. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. He's mentioning the jail. That makes me almost think that there's something that we could do with that jail, uh, maybe as part of a quest. Um, you see a steel wall. Let's open up this door as long as people are cool with that. See who's inside of here. We'll explore a little bit of Junktown, but we'll try and find some quests. That's our main goal here. Junktown Citizen. That's super duper boring. And what is this? The hospital. Is there a door to said hospital? Yes, there is. Right over here. It's kind of hard to figure out where the doors are because this game is so old. All right. Who do we have inside the hospital? We have Flash. And we have Doc Morbid's assistant, Cougar. Flash and Cougar. Yeah, those are their names. Okay. Watch yourself around the dock and I wouldn't have to get... And I won't have to get medieval on your face. I wonder if that's a Pulp Fiction reference. Uh, let's talk to Cougar. How's it going? Good, and you? The Cougar is always fine. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to my man Flash here. He can help you out. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. Flash doesn't seem to really want to talk to me, though. Uh, so where is Doc Morbid, which is a great name for a doctor? Actually, it's not that bad in the Wild Wasteland, you know what I mean? It's it's, it's something that might be a little... Little, uh... Make you laugh a little bit while you have to get the gangrene out of your leg. What's over here? A ladder. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's head down, shall we? Ooh, hi, sir. Are you Doc Morbid? What's your name? You see a rotund midget. That's literally what it says. What are you down here for? Your boss sent me down. Um, okay. What are you doing? Body parts almost ready to go to hub. What? For what? For Bob to sell? To eat? Why do you ask what we use for? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're selling body parts to the hub for Bob, and that was the iguana man, right? The lizard bits guy? I wasn't sure this was where Bob got his human meat from. Yes, yeah, Doc Morbid has beast has best human bodies around, none better. We can say you sick little scab, I'm gonna cut you up and sell you as meat, or uh I'll be back to pick up the bodies in a little while. Goodbye. Okay, this is interesting. Can we do anything here? Or is this sort of a little Easter egg? Your boss sent me down. Uh of course, that's why I'm here. Iguana Man Bob sends you. He happy, lots of good meat. He's selling human body parts for people to eat? For Bob to sell, to eat? Why you ask what we use for? This guy's not that smart. No reason, goodbye. Okay, I'm not sure what we can do with this little guy here. Um, let's see. To see how you're doing. Um, okay. Okay, does that mean that you're almost done? Yes, yes, almost done. It's about time. Okay, I don't think we can do anything here. Of course, I'll be back in a minute. Do I see another person? Are you Doc Morbid, sir? Hello, sir? Doc Morbid. Yes, indeed. The doctor is out. 
literally says the doctor is out when I try to click on this guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. Obviously, a lot of sinister stuff happening in Junktown, but also some justice stuff, which we'll try to do. I want to do that quest involving uh, Gizmo and the skulls. The problem with this game is I just don't know what we should be able to do and what we shouldn't be able to do. Like, the Death Claw seems completely out of our wheelhouse, even with upgraded weapons. Like, we've got the rifle. I'm sure a lot of people get there with only having a 10, um, 10 millimeter pistol. I just don't know, like, what we should be able to do and what we shouldn't. You know what I mean? But that's okay. We'll explore a bit more of Junktown next episode and also try and find Gizmo and uh, his skulls. And I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.